I'm the Ranky Ramajaraka. This video is about attention and control over it. And I want to introduce to you a couple of terms that will come in quite useful in attention control. The one term is do attention, D-U-E. And another one is undo attention. Now, do attention is just what it sounds like. Attention that is due to some object of attention. If something requires our attention and we do not give it its due attention, then it's always going to be waiting for our attention. Now, sometimes we repress things that really do require our attention. We may repress them for years, and it's not a healthy thing to do. Again, this is just a you know, self-mastery short video, so I'm not going to go into a lengthy discussion about that. So we'll just leave it at that. It's not healthy to let something sit for a long time or push it aside, brush it under the carpet, so to speak, something that requires our attention. Now, if something requires its due attention, and we give it its due attention, then any more attention to it is undue attention. Undue attention, the term undue attention also applies to something that does not require our attention, but we go ahead and give it. That is undue attention. So again, things that require our attention, once that attention is given, that due attention is given, further attention to it is undue. It's too much attention. It's, and, and it's not healthy. Because it tastes, well, there are a lot of reasons why, but we're keeping this short and simple. So one reason is that undue attention in the form of too much attention or, or attention given to something after its due amount is, is already given is a distraction. It's a mental distraction from things that do require our attention. It also is a waste of mental energy. So, a good way to learn to control attention is to give things their due attention and give them no more. And don't give things their attention that don't require it. Where it's, don't place your attention where it's not required. Where there is no attention due. Okay? Now, what about things from the past that pop up in our minds? If something pops up, I mean, if we're being really diligent about this, we're really going about this as an intention training technique and also for whatever other benefits we can think of that would come from this, and there are many, what if something pops up in our minds from the past? Well, we have a decision to make. Is it popping up into my mind because I never gave it its due attention? Or is it just popping up such that any attention I actually give it right now is undue? Perhaps because it doesn't require any attention really at all, or because it already got its due attention. If it's not required, then focus back on what you're doing. What you're doing is always a good object of attention. What you're currently doing. There is a time to sit down and review the past. Something from the past. If there's something to be gained from that, If there's something useful to be gained from it, something to be learned, then perhaps that requires due attention. Planning for the future. What if something about, you know, some plan for the future pops up while we're doing something that actually would benefit from having our, from giving it its due attention right now? Then now's not the time for that. There's a time to sit down and think about the future and give that its due attention. 
And that's not while you're doing something else that requires your due attention, that, re that, that has due attention, do it. <clears throat> so going over the past, or whatever benefit may come of it, if there's benefit to be got out of it, there's a time for that. Planning for the future, there's a time for that. But it's not while you're doing something that requires your attention. Okay? So if you're driving in heavy traffic and your mind is wandering off to, you know, what you're going to do next weekend, wrong time. Get control over that. Focus on what you're doing. You can make a mental note. Oh, yeah, well, that's something I need to think about later. When the right time comes up, when you can actually give that planning for the weekend its due attention, that's the time to do it. As you can see, this is good mental time management. There are many benefits of this. But attention training is our focus here. So bear in mind the concepts of due attention and undue attention. And apply them. I'm Tharanki Ramathuraka. Be well.